What's going on you guys? This is MXKD. I have another HP Compact Pro 6300. This is the small phone factor and I'm going to be upgrading the memory, video card and the hard drive and show you guys how to do that. So remove the side cover panel here and we're going to start off the power supply in here only is 240 watts so we're going to be upgrading the video card here the actually EVGA EVGA GeForce GT730, this is a low profile with low profile bracket right here, video card. And the power supply in here is only 240 watts, so this is a low power consumption video card, work perfectly fine. So what we guys going to do is, uh, first off we're going to start off with the memory and you're, you're going to side up, there's a power supply right here, we're going to slide it like this, open up and this same thing right here. And... What we're going to do is uh, we're going to upgrade the memory. It's got only 8 gigs and we're going to be upgrading to 16. So that's totally 4 gig per each slot. And so using a DDR3 1600 non ECC and buffer memory. Again, DDR3 1600. And uh, I recommend going, I like the memory I like is the uh, Corsair, Kingston, and Crucial. Those are top three brands. Again, DDR3 1600 non ECC and buffer memory. So we're going to remove the memory. And we're going to install 16 gigs. And you're going to hear two clicks when the memory is installed properly. And so it's got four, eight, it's got eight gigs. Twelve, sixteen. So we install sixteen gigs of memory DDR three sixteen hundred. Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, forgot to tell you guys you gotta make sure you wear latex gloves, and you will need a. Uh, Torx T15 screwdriver. If you don't have a Torx T15 screwdriver, you need a flathead screwdriver because we need it for the hard drive. And to remove the hard drive right here, we're gonna there's a little clip right here. You press it down with your finger to release the hard drive right here, and you press it up like this, it comes right out. And because the hard drive that's in here, and we have to reuse a Torx screwdriver, or if you don't have a Torx T15 screwdriver to remove the screws here. You have to use a flathead then, perfectly fine. But I do recommend using a Torx, but you can use a flathead perfectly fine. So we're gonna be upgrading the hard drive, so to do that is we're gonna go ahead and screw the, we got two screws on each side. And the other side here. So we disconnected, now here's another one, installing this one. And I'll show you guys how to upgrade the solar state drive in here without any bracket. I'll show you guys how to do that, just I'm gonna install this. And I'll do a separate video guys uh, for upgrade the processor. That'll be a separate video, and uh, I'll do a separate video for disassembly teardown. That's going to be a separate video. You guys can watch later. So let me go ahead and install the other screws here. And just get them tight. Check the other side. So here's the... Hard drive, we are, this is the older one, and we just upgrade to another hard drive, newer one. So, so connect back to SATA and power cable. And install it back, really easy. Just like that. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, upgrade the video card. And this little clip right here, press it up like this. Remove the, you're gonna install through PCI Express X16 slot right here, the black one. That's a PCI slot, those are two ones, a PCI Express X, times X1 slots right here, the two of them right there. We're gonna install here PCI Express X16 slot right there. So what you're gonna do is gonna move the PCI bracket right here, the low profile. Remove it. And install the video card. So we just installed the video card, now you and you stay out, install this back secure lock here. So that's about it you guys, we upgraded the hard drive, the video card and uh, memory. And the last part I'm going to show you guys, uh, here's the solid state drive right here, 2.5 inch, it doesn't matter what brand you use, well, how it's a 2 point, how thin, what kind of solid state drive, what you're going to do is, uh, you need to buy a two sided tape, for a two sided foam tape right here, and this is the 3M two-sided foam tape right here and what you're gonna do is uh, you cut it out right here the pieces like this right one side here one here like this two-sided tape and install the solar state drive disconnect this cassette and power right here and you can install it right in here perfectly fine you see that and then you can install it just like that and it'll hold really well and you just connect it back to uh, the, the power setting, get another set of cable, connect it directly to the motherboard right there. That's all you need. Pretty easy to do. You can install it here, the, the two-sided foam tape. It holds pretty well, because I recommend using uh, the 3M. This is a good uh, good brand of 3M, uh, two-sided foam tape. Works, holds pretty well. So that's about it, you guys. Let me connect back the SATA here on the power cable. But I'll do a separate video how upgrade the processor and uh, the disassembly teardown. That'll be a separate video. And we're going to go ahead and install. And what you're going to do, guys, is uh, when you connect the monitor directly to the video card, you're going to go to NVIDIA.com website and get the drivers for it, for the video card. And install the drivers, restart the computer. You need the drivers for the video card. You get to do that. And uh, so let me go ahead and put this back, the side cover panel behind. So let's, let's say you guys, uh, this has been the end of the video. This is for the HP Compact Pro 6300 uh, small phone factor. Thanks for watching. Bye.